Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's blog, I will teach you how to write a cover letter for your visa application in just simple steps. What is a cover letter for visa application? It is a necessary part of your visa application because it is a way to introduce yourself and the reason why you want to travel to that specific country as well as to communicate with the visa officers who are handling your application. In short, cover letter is the summary of your visa application. What information to include in a cover letter? The first one, the reason why you want to visit that specific country. The dates when you intend to enter and depart. And it should also have a summary of your planned itinerary, activities, for example, places to be visited, fourth, your employment or your living status. The next one, where you will stay once you enter that specific country. Then, proof or statement that you will be back to your home country. And the last one, your cover letter should have, if you were unable to submit any of the required documents, give an explanation for it. Let's begin guys and just follow the simple step that I would show in this video. So your cover letter should have your personal information and the date when you wrote your cover letter. It should be like this. For example, I have here my name, my complete address, telephone and cell phone number. And guys, don't forget to write your email and to check if you write your email correctly. Because mostly, embassies, they love to communicate with the applicant through sending an email or writing an email. And it should have also the date when you write your cover letter. And next step is that you will going to write the recipient address and the name. Okay, it should be the recipient's information and the embassy name and address. So, so I would like to remind everyone, please don't put vfs or vfs address in your cover letter because vfs is not the one who are checking your documents and responsible for your visa stamping write your embassy's name and address for example i will be going to germany so here in my cover letter i wrote embassy of the federal republic of germany and the complete address so i would never recommend guys to write any information about vfs so there we are you need also to write a reference line or the subject of your cover letter so here i have my subject german tourist application or you can write german tourist visa application if it is visit german visit visa application so you can write whatever you want describe the types of visa that you like to apply for and of course the salutation we should always be polite so here i wrote there sir and madame we don't know yet who will be responsible for our visa application now we are here in the next part wherein you need to write the body of your cover letter in this case the first sentence or paragraph should include the dates when you intended to enter and depart in that certain country so for example here i wrote i would like to apply for a schengen visa upon my intention to travel to germany between December 1, 2023 and December 31, 2023. So that is my first sentence. Followed by the reason why you want to visit that country. In this part, you need to write a powerful statement that makes the consul believe about the intention of your visit. 
For example, I wrote, I had chosen to spend almost one month in Germany as I strongly believe that I need time to visit the most important tourist attractions and get to know the German culture that I've been fascinated with ever since I was a child, such as the night Christmas market in Dresden and Olympic Stadium in Berlin. Telling such a story can be a powerful communication tool because the embassy or the consulate officers can understand who you are and why you should get a visa. For the next paragraph, you should write the status of your employment. If you are unemployed for how many years, you can write any information about your livelihood status and you need to write any statements or proof that you will be returned to your home country. I will give you another example again. I recently resigned from the company I have been working with for 5 years before looking for another job in the Philippines. I think I deserve a break, so I've decided to travel and use the savings I got from working to visit Europe for the first time. I will return on December 31 to start looking for a new job or new career. I will return on December 31 to start looking for a new job. If that is not what you plan, you own a business, you can write, I will return on December 31 because I have a business to be managed. If you have children, you can say, I will return on December 31 because I am the responsible for my children's welfare it simple you can write i will return on december 31 to take good care of my children and also you need to mention where you will be staying most of the time once you enter your destination most of the time i will stay at hotel lafayette at 23 rue this Alexandra Platz, the hotel is located within walking distance at the most important places of interest in Berlin. To give a hint for what you would like to visit, you can present a summary of your planned activities. It should be look like this. So you can see a planned itinerary for my activities. As you can see guys, I put it in a very good table with dates and my activities. So I didn't put day 1, day 2, day 3, just the summary of all the activities that I want to do or what you want to do or places that you would like to visit. December 1, activities arrival at Berlin Brandenburg Airport. And December 1 to 10, city tour in Berlin, Hamburg, and Köln. So here you already present what places or what cities you would like to visit. December 11 to 15, city tour in Munich. December 16 to 20, visiting Dresden for a Pooh Christmas tour. December 20 to 30, Christmas celebration with friends in Berlin. And December 31, your last day, leaving Germany via Qatar Airways at Berlin Brandenburg Airport. So that is the summary of my activities. And for your supporting documents, you can make a list like this. The following documents have been attached to support my visa application. Here are the following. Round trip flight ticket, hotel reservation, bank certificate um, 6 months, detailed travel itinerary, 
confirmed tour and cultural booking or tickets travel health insurance and proof of rudeness and so on if you have more documents you can add it here because more documents have high chances to get a visa we are almost done guys and at the last paragraph you can say I trust that you will find everything in order. For further information, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you in advance for the favorable response to my visa application. Before your letter end, don't forget to write the closure. Best regards and the most important one is your signature as an applicant. Your cover letter must write and signed by yourself and not the other people and not even your sponsor. Only you as an applicant can sign your cover letter. And this is how it looks guys. So I would like to present to you the Microsoft copy of the cover letter that I wrote. This is also the same cover letter. Um, the content is the same as what I presented to you a while ago. I'm going to scroll down for you to see how it looks like and how many pages it is. So I think this is two pages. I hope you learn a lot from this tutorial so if you don't have any idea how to write your cover letter because you are afraid or you have any doubt because you are unemployed you can create yours as what I have shown here as what I have teach to you if you wrote your cover letter like this I guarantee that the console will be still amazed even though you doesn't have any job or unemployed at the moment if you like this video click the like button and if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe at my youtube channel so you will be notified if i have new videos about visa application immigration documents visa registration and appeal and once again guys thank you for watching and see you in my next vlog